Updating the firmware on your V200 SSD drive from Kingston can improve compatibility of your drive. It's easy to do, but there are a few things to know to ensure a smooth update. First, this firmware update in particular will wipe out all the data on your drive, so it's important to back up your files and operating system first. Many newer operating systems have imaging software built right in, or you can use the hard drive cloning software that came in your Kingston upgrade kit. Also, if your drive shows anything other than E111008A, lucky you, your drive is already up to date, and you don't need this firmware. But if this is your version, then you'll need a writable CD drive, a writable disk, and image burning software. And as always, it's a good idea to make sure that your system BIOS is up to date first. Check with your computer manufacturer's website before you begin. To start, go to kingston.com forward slash support. Then, drivers and downloads, select solid state drives, and then your V200 drive. Under downloads and drivers, download the latest firmware update and save it to your computer. The file is an image or an ISO file that when burned to a CD creates a bootable disk that performs the firmware update. Burning an image is different than burning other files. Luckily, most newer operating systems like OS X and Windows 7 now include this functionality. When using your burning software, burn the ISO to a disk as an image and not as a file on the disk. Burning the image creates a bootable disk that contains all the files that you'll need to update the firmware. You'll know you've done this correctly if you can boot from the disk. Before we can update, and after you've completely backed up your system, you need to enter the BIOS and make some changes. On most systems, you'll be prompted to enter the F1, F2, F10, Escape, or the Delete key to enter the system BIOS when starting the computer. All system BIOSes are different, and some use different terminology. But in the BIOS under Hard Drive Configuration, you want to ensure that the SATA mode is set to IDE, Compatibility, or even Legacy mode, and not AHCI, RAID, or Native modes. A little digging around and you'll find it. Otherwise, consult the documentation from your computer manufacturer for more detailed information. And while you're here, you'll need to change the boot order so you can boot from the CD that you created earlier. With the disk containing the new firmware in your CD drive, restart the computer and when prompted, boot from the CD or DVD drive. The system will automatically load the firmware install tool. Read and then accept the terms of use by typing Y on the keyboard. You'll then be asked if you want to update your Kingston SSD firmware. Remember, all the data on the drive will be deleted, but as long as you've backed up your system, feel free to hit Y again to proceed with the firmware update. The update will only take a few seconds or maybe a minute or so to run through all the steps before completing. If the install tool doesn't detect the SSD drive, make sure to recheck the SATA mode is set correctly in the BIOS. But once you see update successful, the process is complete and you've successfully updated the firmware on your Kingston V200 SSD drive. Now remove the CD and restart the computer. Be sure to restore the SATA mode to the original configuration, and now you're ready to restore or reinstall the operating system. If you have any other questions about upgrading the firmware on your V200 SSD drive from Kingston, go to kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.